Okay, let's start with this. As after my first video was getting a lot of uh, critics and people saying things that I miss one part of what I uh, wanted to say and the, like the third part I didn't say it and all sort of, of that type of criticism that in part I'm very very happy that people are investigating by themselves and that produced that so I wanted to comment furthermore on what I'm talking about so if you will wait a little bit wait a moment while I prepare the same The ancient philosophers and Greek philosopher call it ethos, logos, and pathos. After that, uh, Christianity and Catholics that were studying on mainly what happened with Christianity and all those Greek philosophers arrive to the conclusion of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they call it, that's what is called the Holy Trinity. So, when you start learning music, and you get a little bit more deep, you start to understand the demonstration of this. And for that, I'm going to need my guitar here. If you could wait a little bit.
in music, we can uh, fully understand this and by experience it completely. So if you take one note, let's stay for today's uh, purpose, B flat. That's our ethos, right? Or the father, the son, or the logos. This will create a third note without without being <clears throat> played. It's gonna be the fifth. See, we're gonna hear it very clear. Okay, so we have the father that octave that is sounding also on the harmonic. That third note, Catholics call it the, the Holy Spirit, it, it is an harmonic, so you're not playing it, it appears because of the previous two notes that Catholics call it the Father and the Son produce the Holy Spirit, and they are all one. So the Father and the Son is the same thing. And the Holy Spirit is the same thing too. So that's also what the Greeks were talking about. Now, this is the this is the uh, further uh, awareness and further exploration. Uh, that happen when you start to become to learn music on a deeper level um, when you play those those three notes there's something that's gonna start happening is the three notes are gonna start oscillating right first goes the father first then the son then the holy spirit or the harmonic, the root, the octave, the harmonic. Then they start doing oscillation. The, the root, the harmonic, the, host, the octave. The octave, the root, the harmonic. The, the octave, the harmonic, the root. The harmonic, the root, the octave. The harmonic, the octave, the root. So it happens in oscillation. If you play the chords and you stay on a pad hearing that for, for a while, like if you play a pad on a piano, it's gonna, it's gonna get better. But that oscillation process starts to happen and that's the fourth, the fourth uh, fundament that is called Kairos and it also has its Kronos part. But I was, uh, as I was explaining on my Facebook post, when you're talking, you don't wanna put everything uh, on 
on the on, on your speech because it's gonna be tiresome and it's not gonna produce what you want so we got that uh, series that starts to appear the root the octave and the harmonic that is gonna create that that Father Son and Holy Spirit is gonna create an process of rhythm oscillation between them that's called chronos that's the simple chronos part means the order on which they appear start to appear the natural order now the kairos is the special order on when on how they appear so when that's uh, uh, all based on the permutation of their appearances. So first as the father, that permutation with the father on 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 the <clears throat> on on the root, on the main part. So father part is the kairos part of the father. The chronos is how they work inside of it. Then it goes to the son or the octave how they work inside of it and <clears throat> that's what happens with uh, this fundamental process so that third and fourth process produces a fifth process and it's all part of, of the third one this is why <laughs> why uh, the Greeks and the Catholics just leave it on three the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Ethos, Logos, Pathos. Because the Holy Spirit and the combination of them produce the Kairos and the process. Now, the third part is the, and the Greeks call it the Pathos, the effect. And the effect first is the appearance of this. of this uh, ethos, Holy Spirit, uh, harmonic, then that effect creates, again, the, the Kairos and the Kronos. Now, if you see that, why is it called the Spirit? Because the fifth, the fifth uh, process of of these fundaments is precisely the spirit that chromatic that harmonic uh, note then the process keeps going there's a seven part this there's an eight part so if you want if you want the, the basic fundaments is three Ethos, Logos, Pathos. You want to keep going. Well, there's a fifth one. That I already explained. And uh, if you want to do something completely, there's the two. You go to the A. So you have one, two, three, five, eight. And that's mainly the, the basic process. But I'm just going to leave it there for now. So for ending, uh, I want I want to say that we need to be humble to learn.
it's good to criticize, it's good uh, to be investigating, but um, when we're humble, we understand that we really don't know anything. We don't have <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge is a thing that keeps renewing itself. And when you learn something, you have that experience, that information. So if you think you know it because of, of that information that you have in that experience, when a similar experience happens and you are like, yes, I know this thing, you can be missing some, some important new things happen. So the mastermind is form of beginner's mind. The mastermind, and I'm just gonna leave it there.